everyone, it's Molly. Um, I'm gonna do a large pour tonight uh, inspired by uh, Renska Dana, who is an amazing artist. She's been on Instagram actually for quite some time, but just started her YouTube channel and she coined her type of blow dryer technique, uh, the Dutch pour. So I'm gonna try something a little bit similar tonight. I've done um, a lot of work with the blow dryer as well and a lot of those pieces are what sell for me. Um, it creates beautiful work and you don't have to use silicone because it's basically like a density pour. Um, but I'll put all my descriptions down below. I don't wanna take up all the time with that, but I'm using um, a lime green that I mixed together um, I'm using Thalo Turquoise, Thalo Blue, Dioxazine Violet, and Payne's Gray as my colors. So we'll see how those work out, and then obviously white. I'm using for the base house uh, my house paint mixture, and I'll put everything down below, so don't worry. But first, I wanted to show you, so these were a couple of my wave coasters that I just did. And I just did those with uh, just, you know, my regular mixture of paints. No silicone whatsoever. I just used the density um, of the paints to create that effect. So that was pretty cool. Um, this was my pour, my three-dimensional pour. And I don't know if you guys can see, but that gold, wow. That gold really shimmers. But anyway, that's how that turned out. It's dry, dried smooth, beautiful. Really cool effect. I don't know if you, like a spine. <laughs> Um, this was my other, like, rainbow pour that ended up happening, and what I didn't show on camera is that, let me see if I can get close and show you, I took a torch to the white parts because I didn't like them, and it ended up coming out really cool because it ended up with tiny little cells in there. So that was that guy, and... You guys wanted to see, I don't, I don't want to call them fails anymore, but you guys wanted to see something um, that I didn't necessarily like. So this was a density pour that I did and it just kind of, the yellow turned kind of muddy. I mean the orange turned kind of muddy. So what I think I'm going to do, I kind of see a chameleon. So I think I'm going to paint a chameleon over this piece and use the actual spots as the, uh, as the coloring on that and maybe embellish it a little bit. So anyway, that was something that I didn't really care for, but I'm gonna turn it into something I like. So, um, let me get my gloves on and then I'll talk to you guys while I paint. So give me one second. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop some air bubbles real quick and then, and then I'll get started. something something in there. I don't want that. I don't want that. So I used my house paint and I stirred it with some white. So I didn't want all those air bubbles because I just mixed it. If you don't want air bubbles, you can let it sit for a little while. So I've mixed my paints down to a pretty thin consistency. I'll show you here if you can see it. Like super droopy. Right back into the cup. Super drippy. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with my, I'm gonna blow a puddle this way. I'm gonna do two puddles because this is a 24 by 30 inch canvas. I'm gonna do a puddle here and a puddle here and then blow them kind of that way and have a lot of negative space in the middle. That's what I'm thinking at least. So for this pour, you wanna make sure that you have enough. So you see how thin my white is? It's sinking right below there. Um, but that's okay. Do a little bit of lime green. I might layer these a couple of times. I really like the way that purple comes out with lime green. So I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we'll see, huh? Just a little bit of blue right there. I'm gonna puddle of blue right there. So Renska has actually been on Instagram for quite some time and I actually love her work. We do a lot of ocean colors the same. Um, I 
Okay, so now I've got my other white. I'm just gonna pour around it. And then I'm gonna maybe just a little bit more. And you can always play around with this if you don't like the way that it looks. So let me get my blow dryer real quick and you guys are, it's, you know, it's gonna, you're gonna hear it. So um, you might wanna mute for a second. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna make sure I don't get too much off the, so I'm gonna go on low. I'm just gonna, so I'm gonna go on high. This is such a big canvas. I don't wanna go on. I don't want to go on high. See, on high, you splatter the paint, and I really don't want to do that. I want to blow the paint across it. So I'm going to try it on low again. Just putting the rest of the paint out there. Got another little glob in there. I don't want globs, people. See, it doesn't move with the lower one, so I'm just gonna have to go up high. Here, and I'll take you guys down in a little bit. See, this blew off to the bottom of the canvas. Oh my gosh, I'm loving what's happening up there. I think I lost my purple, so I want a little bit more purple right there. And because the colors are so thin, they mixed together. Um, I kind of like this part with negative space in it. So I don't think I'm gonna to touch that yet. So this is kind of my rendition, large scale. And again, I wish I had a, I wonder what would happen if I just blew. You guys bear with me. This is a large canvas. Yeah, if I could just blow over that way. right there you guys I can't wait for you to see this part right here it's amazing and all the little white cells are popping up over here I'm really loving that I'm gonna blow a little bit more that way Lobby in the bottom of the cup. And I think I want one more little purple through there. Purple and maybe some phthalo blue. You guys, I'm really loving how this came out.
I'm just trying to get my composition right. So you guys can fast forward to the end if you want to. Um, let me look. I think right, I really love this space. So I think right there, I'm gonna go with those darker colors again. And I, I didn't mix up a lot of lime green because I was like, yeah, I don't want the lime green to like take over. But man, I actually love how it looks. Oh yeah, loving it. Develops underneath there. A little bit of globs there. If there's something you don't like, you can always fix it. Because of the way, you guys, because of the way that I mix my paints, the, uh, it's really, really pretty. Because of the way that I mix my paints, I get these little, these little pouches. I'll show, I'll take you down and show you. I'm like literally in love with this. You guys let me know what you think. I know it doesn't look like much now, but when I take you down, you'll see what I'm talking about. So hold on. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. See how I get those little ringlets around? That comes from my base white, I think. Look at this lacing right there you around so you can see this side right here this is gorgeous right there oh my gosh look at those bubbles over there sorry I've got my my light I'm loving these bright colors through here I think I'm gonna have to do another one of these but with a different base coat because I want to play around with the technique a little bit more. But I knew that I'd get stuff like this because I've done my blow dryer before. All right, I hope you guys could see it all. But that is what she looks like. And I like the unfinished kind of blown edges there. But I really, really love this part right here. Oh my gosh. I could literally look at this for days. I'm really happy that I used that lime green. I was scared to start out. All right, you guys. There she is. The detail is amazing. You can't even tell it as much here. I'll leave you guys with that. <laughs> But this is, the te this is what I'm talking about up here. I love the way that these cells come out with that watered down white. So I'll put everything in my description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see next. <laughs> I love it. You guys are inspiring to me. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Happy painting. Bye.